Hello, I'm Steven the Calculator Guy, and I decided to make a part three of this beginner's guide to DeFi because this is a video that people have been asking me about a lot. This is going to be an introduction to farming. So farming is probably the most common yield gaining technique that you'll find in decentralized finance. And once you understand how to farm, you can really sort of open your mind to what DeFi is all about and start to begin understanding the idea of yield farming, uh, which is just grabbing yield or gaining yield off of different protocols. So getting APYs, getting APRs, making money uh, sort of passively. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. And it's pretty simple. Um, we're going to look at two different protocols and I threw in a third one uh, just for you guys to consider. So the two protocols we're going to look at are Trader Joe and Beefy. We briefly saw them in the last couple of videos, but this time we're actually going to look at how to use them and how to get some yield. So the first thing you want to do now that you've already, now that you understand what DeFi is, now that you've created your MetaMask wallet, now that you've presumably added some funds, uh, I know that we talked about how to do AVAX, so that's what we're going to use, though any chain is fine, very similar uh, steps, all the steps are, are nearly identical, regardless of which chain you're on. Now that you've done all that, we can start using protocols. So we're going to start with Trader Joe. Uh, so for Trader Joe, what you may want to do is look at the pools or the farms. Totally up to you. Uh, what we're going to actually do is look at these options, and then I'm going to show you what my preference is. So I like to do what we call yield aggregators, but we'll talk about that in a second. So you're going to want to find a pool that has assets that you like, that you don't mind being exposed to, uh, and then that, that also you have tokens for, or that you don't mind getting tokens for. So you might sort by APR. Uh, if you want to, you can see that there's AVAX die for 61%. That's pretty good. This is APR. Um, so I might consider that particular pool. Uh, this is pretty, this is uh, not bad. So you can see that the liquidity is 15 million. So it's, it's not like it's a tiny bit of liquidity. If there's only a small amount of liquidity, then as that liquidity increases, the APR is going to go down dramatically. So you do have to keep that in mind. Uh, so let's just say you wanted to enter this AVAX die. So AVAX is the proprietary coin of the Avalanche blockchain. Uh, it's what I would consider that nearly a blue chip, which means it's a, it's a pretty solid hold. Uh, and then die is a stable coin, which is pegged to the dollar. So you could definitely do this pair, get a nice 61% APR. Uh, so what you would do is you would need 50% AVAX and 50% die. So let's say you had 10 AVAX and zero die. What you would need to do is sell five of your AVAX into your die. That's what you'd have to do. And to do that, you'd go over to trade. So let's say this is something that you definitely want to do. I right click, I open up a new tab for trade. I would take my 10 AVAX. Uh, you know, maybe I open up a calculator, divide it by two if it's a weird number. So I divide that by two. I know that it's five. So I do five <clears throat> and I would switch that to die, which is DAI. Uh, and you can see what value that would be, $465. I would click approve. You're probably gonna have to approve your AVAX first. So you'd click approve. Uh, you'd have a MetaMask transaction that costs some amount of gas. You would accept that MetaMask transaction. After it's been approved, you wanna refresh and do it again uh, because sometimes the approval process takes a while to communicate with the protocol. So let's just say it's approved, but you still see the words approve here, right? If you still see the words approve here, just go ahead and refresh. Once you refresh, then you will see swap. Click swap with your five AVAX and you'll get your, your die. At that point, you have 50% AVAX and 50% die. That's what you need in order to LP farm, farm that liquidity. So you'll go back over here, you'll provide your five AVAX, your 465 uh, die. Now, if it says that your die is too low, uh, then max your AVAX. If it says your AVAX is too, sorry, if it says your die is too low, max your die. If it says your AVAX is too low, max your AVAX. Um, if it's even off by a penny, it's going to say it's too low. So you have to have exactly 50%. Uh, okay. So once you do that, you'll click add liquidity and immediately you'll be gaining yield. Now people often ask me, where does that yield go? How do I see it? Am I getting rewarded in what kind of tokens? Am I getting Joe? What am I getting? So if you're just doing basic farming in a pool, uh, it's going to be automatically, the yield is going to be automatically given to you into your tokens. So you're going to be getting AVAX and DAI, right? The fees are paid in AVAX and DAI for the swaps between these two pairs. So you're going to receive AVAX and DAI. So what you'll see is uh, you'll see your pool token 
increase. You'll see your pooled AVAX and pooled die increase over time. So maybe you'll have uh, five AVAX here and $466 of die here. You'll see those two numbers increase over time. Now, there is something you need to consider, and that is impermanent loss. So I wish that I could not talk about impermanent loss because uh, it is a bit of a drag and uh, it does take a little bit of knowledge to, to understand, but that's okay. I, by the way, if you don't know me, I'm the calculator guy for a reason. I make calculator calculators uh, in decentralized finance. So here, this is an impermanent loss calculator that I created. Um, oh, I see that I have two videos, one inside of the other. Uh, that's strange. Oh, I know why. Whoop. There we go. Okay, so what's going on here is you need to put your two tokens in. Uh, okay, so let me just explain impermanent loss. Impermanent loss is when you have two tokens in a liquidity pool, and they have to be 50-50%, right? So if one token increases in value, what's going to happen is it's going to sell into the other token to make them balance out. Now when that happens, uh, it may be the case that you would have been better off holding uh, instead of liquidity pool providing because if that if that token skyrockets had you just held that token you would have you would have collected or gained all of that price action but because you're in liquidity pool if it goes skyrockets it's going to sell into the other token to make them 50 50 which can incur a relative loss to holding so let's just do that avalanche die avalanche is is worth like a hundred dollars right now so we'll put a hundred dollars uh and die has always one dollar it's a stable coin let's say we did five right so it's going to recommend that we use uh five hundred dollars of die and we'll say we start on today so one five 2022 and the apr is 61 percent okay cool so now let's go into the future let's say uh we want to think about a month out so one no two two five 2022 and we want to say the future price of AVAX let's just say it goes up by $150 or it goes up by $50 uh, die stays the same so what you notice is you have $25 of impermanent loss however the interest you earned from that APY and APR was $63 as a result your net gain uh, is $39 relative to holding so in this case it would have been better to liquidity pool instead of holding. Uh, I'm going to provide this impermanent loss calculator for you so you can sort of play with the numbers and see if it's sort of if if those opportunities are good for you uh, and your sort of analysis or assumptions. You can also look at if it, if AVEX decreases to I don't know seventy five dollars. If you get a bear market, impermanent loss eight dollars, but interest earned forty five dollars still would have been better pooling instead of uh, holding. Okay, cool. So there you go, right? That's basic pooling. Now, beefy, uh, it takes farms. Remember, with farms, you get additional incentives. So maybe you want to get some additional incentives here. You can sort these. You can't sort these? Bummer. Uh, you can look at stablecoin farms, which are pretty cool, right? So here you can get a total of. That's terrible. It's a terrible farm. Okay. So these farms aren't that attractive. I'll just be honest. Uh, oh, this is really good, actually. Okay, so this this farm is really attractive uh, because Frax is a stable coin. AVAX is a blue chip, and this is 272%. I would definitely consider joining this farm. This is just like the last one, but with way higher APR. So I would join this, right? Uh, I would get half Frax, half AVAX, create that LP token and pool. So you have to create it and pool first. Uh, Type in Frax, it should pop up AVAX. Sometimes you have to give it some time. Maybe a lot of time. Uh, do, 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 Oh, come on. No, none. Okay, here we go, AVAX Frax. So you click on AVAX Frax, um, and what you need to do is uh, then do 50-50, same thing as the die, create the liquidity pool token, then go over to farm, uh, then find the AVAX Frax, then you want to deposit your liquidity pool token here. So that's important. Deposit your liquidity pool token here. Uh, then you will, after you've done that, 
you can harvest your rewards. You're going to get rewards in Joe. You're going to get rewards in FX, FXS. Uh, that's what you're going to get paid out in with your 228%. Um, and that's it. So what you can do is you can harvest those rewards. You can sell them for more AVAX and more FRAX at a 50-50% ratio. Uh, and then make more liquidity pool tokens in the pool. And you can deposit more of that. And that's how you're going to turn that APR into APY. Now, if you want to see what the APR to APY would be, right? So APR is not compounded. APY is compounded. Guess what I built? Of course, a calculator. Uh, so assuming that you compound daily, let's say you compound every day. And your initial investment was like worth, I don't know, a thousand dollars. And the base APR is 220%. Then what you're going to find is your compounding APY is 795%, which is amazing. That means that you'll have, uh, it, by the end of the year, I mean, if this stayed the same, APYs generally don't stay the same. APYs generally go down over time as more people add liquidity. Uh, but if, if this did stay the same, then you would be looking at eight times your investment over a year. Really good. You can see your your daily ROI, um, your ROI after each compound, all these kind of things you can look at using this calculator. Uh, you can also do an assumed price change per day. Play with these tools as much as you want. I'll also link this one in the description. So that's how you convert APR to APY. Now, if you want a protocol that automatically compounds things for you, that's when we look at Beefy. So now we're going to look at Beefy. We're going to skip Alpha Hamora for this video. We're going to look straight at Beefy. So what Beefy does is it takes farms like the farms on Trader Joe and it automatically sells the rewards into more liquidity pool token and compounds it for you. It takes a tiny fee for doing it, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it because it's totally hands off and I'm converting that APR at 220% into APY. That's 700 and something percent. Okay. So click AVAX on Beefy. Connect your wallet, of course. Uh, and we can see maybe, maybe that Frax pool is here. I haven't checked, so I don't know. Um, but so you can go to Asset if you want to check. Actually, we'll just go to Protocol. Uh, so there's Banker Joe, Trader Joe. Let's see, Trader Joe. If we sort by APRs, well, 4,000. Uh, is the Frax one here? Looks like it's it might not be here. Let's check Banker Joe. And it's okay if it's not, but... Okay, so Banker Joe is just for staking. Um, oh, I didn't know I even had $85 of meme. That's cool. Uh, well, all right, let's say you have stable coins, right? You can click on your stable coin, which I have, Magical Internet Money, and you can approve it. So you'll click Approve. Uh, then you will go over here and click Confirm. 16 cents, no big deal. And so what that, what that did is it used 16 cents of Avalanche to pay for this transaction. Uh, now, if you, want to, if you want to know why you're paying for transactions, it's basically to reward the people who are writing the transactions onto the blockchain um, <clears throat> because you need that to happen in order to have a blockchain or a ledger or something that is secure. Uh, but we're, let's not get into that now. Okay, so it's been approved. Now, as I mentioned before, even though the transaction has been approved, we're not seeing it yet. Sometimes you'll have to refresh. In this case, I didn't have to refresh, which is really nice. So then I can click deposit all, and then I can click confirm. Now I'm actually gonna look for better yield for this $85, but this is not bad, it's 8, 13%. Uh, so I'm gonna reject that, but there you go. So I'm gonna go back over to all, and then I'm gonna look at AVAX. I wanna see what are the best yield opportunities with AVAX. Uh, we have, hmm, all of these. Uh, none of these that I'm super interested in. Unfortunately, Joe Avax, that might be good. Uh, my Avax, this one's pretty good, right? So I might do this one. So what you would need to do is get the My Avax token. My is also a stable coin. There are so many stable coins out there. Uh, you need to get this token. So to get the token, you need to click Add Liquidity. So click Add Liquidity, and you'll do exactly what we did before, right? You need 50% Avax, 50% My and then click add liquidity. Once you've added liquidity, what you'll notice is you have what we call an LP token. The LP token represents your share of the liquidity in this pool. You take that LP token over here, and then you approve and deposit that LP token. Uh, then you'll see it over here, and you can watch your, your value increase day over day. Uh, and that's really it. Now, when you want to exit, this is really important. When you want to exit these protocols, you want to click withdraw all. So click withdraw all. 
Uh, you'll go through a process of accepting a transaction, then you'll have the LP token back. With that LP token, you need to go back to the pool where you did the LP. The easy way to do that is click Add Liquidity. That'll take you straight to the right pool. So in this case, it'll take you here. You want to click Remove. So you'll click Remove, you'll click Max, then you'll Approve and uh, Submit, right? You'll click Remove. Then you'll have your AVAX and your MAI as separate tokens once again that you can go and sell back at trade. And that's it, guys. That's it. So uh, from the top, again, all you need to do is go to these protocols, add liquidity, uh, then take that LP token and either just hang out with that LP token, not at a farm, uh, and just get the, the fees from the swaps, or take that LP token and stake it on a farm for additional yield. Or you can stake it on an, what they call a yield aggregator, which is an auto compounder like Beefy Finance for converting your APR into APY. Now, if you just want to see what the best APYs are in the whole space, you know, 4,000%, 1,000%, 800%. Uh, if you like any of these particular protocols, maybe you're really bullish on Qi or you really, you really like Geom. Uh, you can do that. Now, I will say you'll probably find some better yields on um, some newer chains because that's usually where the yields go to. But Avalanche is a very safe chain, very big chain, uh, very trusted chain. And, you know, if these APYs or APRs look attractive to you, I would say this is a good place to start your yield farming journey. And if you want to find more protocols for yield farming, again, DeFi Llama is the place to go, right? You have DeFi Llama. Uh, you can look at the chains. <clears throat> And then uh, maybe we're clicking Avalanche again. You can look at all the different protocols on the Avalanche blockchain. Now uh, you want to go with the higher TVLs because generally they're safer, more trusted, have a lot of different audits. Okay, finally, we need to talk about risks. So you have to consider volatility, right? If you're getting uh, APR, APY on a particular asset, there is a chance that that asset goes down in, goes down in value as you're getting a yield on it. And so if an asset goes down by 50% as you're getting, you know, a 25% APY, well, you're still losing money. So you want to make sure the assets that you're using for this are assets that you don't mind holding, which is why a lot of people do uh, stable coin yield farming, which is where they just use stable coins like MAI or DAI or USDT or USDC. I mean, there's so many stable coins, but generally stable coin yields can be way lower uh, because, you know, everyone is doing it. So other things you might consider are like blue chip yields. You, I have a video on how to find yields on Bitcoin, how to find yields on Ethereum, um, but they're going to be anywhere between 8% to like 60%. Uh, and those are very volatile yields, whereas the assets are less volatile. So consider the asset, right? The volatility of the asset. Consider impermanent loss, which we talked about earlier. And then consider your conviction level in that asset. Like how long do you want to be holding that asset? Okay. And that's it guys. So hopefully this helped you understand farming a bit. Again, the basic concept of farming is that you're providing liquidity for some sort of exchange and you're getting paid in swap fees. Uh, and you're also generally getting additionally paid by incentivized farm fees. If you want to compound those farm fees automatically, you can go to a yield aggregator like Beefy Finance. I'm um, also Snowball is another yield aggregator. So we can go to Snowball, just so you guys can see it. Uh, we can see if that Frax pair is there. It's probably not, um, but we can see. So you'll go to Compound and Earn. This is app.snowball.network, Compound and Earn, and you can see what they have available. We can sort by APY here. The, the sorting tool didn't work very well, um, but you can see some of these APYs. Some of them may be more attractive than others, uh, and you can sort of search by assets as well. What you'll notice is that not all of these are through Trader Joe. You may have to use other protocols and add and remove your liquidity from them, um, but once you get used to adding and removing liquidity, it shouldn't be too hard. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. As a reminder, if you want, uh, you know, more cutting edge DeFi strategies and just access to me, uh, you can join my Patreon. I will respond to your messages within 24 to 48 hours. And um, we talk about a lot of cool DeFi stuff over there. Other, other than that, hopefully all the links from, from this video's protocols will be in the description. I hope, I really do hope you guys understand farming better. Um, and thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful, phenomenal, fantastic rest of your day.